Oh my goodness, welcome back to the adventures. We got another cooking video. Now it's kind of cold and I wanted something warm and I've been doing the keto diet or low carb diet basically, uh, keeping the carbs under control. So I'm doing that for health reasons and it's working out well, but I wanted a cheat day. You know, I wanted to have some carbs. So let's cook a lasagna. Now we got ourselves a beef lasagna. I got this from my local Aldi store, Aldi supermarket, bought it myself. Yes. Uh, and I, I let it defrost so it would cook a bit quicker, but usually they take about, ooh, it says on the instructions, 70 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Now I warmed up the oven at 200 degrees Celsius or just below, uh, you know, it was all ready to go and I've already got the lasagna in there. Now I'll show you a little trick. Oh gosh, that's hot. I got my mitt on. Now I also wanted some more carbs, so I got some fries going, I'll put them to the side. Now, they were on top to act as a heat shield, so that way the lasagna doesn't burn. So you see, it's nicely warming up and cooking. The biggest problem with frozen lasagna is it's frozen. So you'll, if it's frozen, you'll have to spend time defrosting it. So that is an issue, meaning it'll be very watery and you might want to cover it with foil. So that way it cooks first and then take off the foil in the last 15 or 20 minutes to brown it. So that's why I've got it on the lower shelf, just letting it cook. And like I said, it was already defrosted, so that should cook very quickly. And then up here we got some homemade fries. So awesome. You know, I just had some potatoes and I thought, why not? So let's give it a try. Just put some salt and pepper on them. All right. Oh, that is hot. That is hot. I just burned myself. That is hot, hot, hot. My goodness. All right. See, he's got to uh, put some olive oil, some salt and pepper to season it. Uh, yeah. Mmm. Good. Mm. I like it a little bit crispier. Let's just try one more. Okay, this one's a bit more brown, a bit more crispy. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. Got more of a crunch to it, but um, yeah, some baked fries. Found some ketchup. Got some tomato sauce, so let's give it another try. And these are just obviously a snack, nice snack, entree. Mm. Mm. It's much more palatable being home cooking, meaning it's not too greasy. You could of course put it on a paper towel if it was. So I put olive oil. Just some salt and pepper. You can obviously season it as you like, and that's what's great about home cooking. You can choose. Also, a bit healthier. You know, with the olive oil and just, you know, uh, baked instead of deep fried. So, you know, if you've got a hankering for some fries, you don't have to feel so bad about it. A little bit healthier and uh, save you a little money as well. All right, the timer is finished. So it's been about 40 minutes now. Let's get this bad boy. Oh, that is hot, 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 hot. But yeah, look at that beautiful golden brown, huh? Beautiful, you can see all the oil bubbling. And the cheesy top. Yeah, let's get that out. Ooh, baby. Look at this, huh? Beautiful golden brown. This is the way I like my pizza and I guess Italian food and lasagna. It's a little bit crispy. You can hear a bit of a crack. Well, that's me. That's just a little bit of a crack. It's soft. So that's the cheesy topping. Beautiful golden brown. And um, yeah, be careful. I've got it's it's obviously hot. Um, it's in an additional tray, so that's another thing. These alloy trays can uh, bend and wobble and you'll lose your lasagna will fall, fall everywhere. And then I've got it on a stone top, a stone chopping board so it doesn't burn my bench top or my kitchen bench. So you know what? Let's put some more cheese on it. Why not? All right, so as you can see, I've got some tasty shredded cheese. Now mozza is probably best, especially with Italian cooking, uh, like pizza and lasagna. But I like tasty cheese because it is tastier and it does melt quicker. So that is an advantage. So just say you sprinkle some on a dish it will melt very quickly, but it, it can also burn uh, a bit quicker as well. So that's the advantage of mozza. Mozza is more uh, chewy, more stringy, more chewy, and it doesn't burn as easily. That's often why it's used in pizza. So anyway, just to give you guys an idea, got it on camera. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit more just to get a bit more cheesy top because being a frozen lasagna, it already had its own creamy creamy cheesy top but it's not that cheesy this is actually more the cream the cream sauce so i'm just going to continue this so we got our cheese nicely spread out i got my oven mitt on i got the oven warm back up T timed it for five minutes so let's 
let's do this live. Let's hopefully. Come on, lasagna. Uh, don't want to drop it. Alrighty, so I've got it on the top shelf, as you can see. Very nice. And we're just going to brown that up for the last five minutes. So remember, tasty cheese does melt much easier. If you wanted to use mozzarella, it will be much uh, stringier and stickier. But anyway, we can just see. And that way, uh, we don't burn it. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to use my mitts. That's why I've got the camera sitting down. Let's get it out. Oh, Ooh, baby. Look at that. Yeah, that's fantastic. Alrighty, that's it, guys. Straight out of the oven. Now, I like it this way, obviously. That's what I was trying to do. We're going a bit closer. I was trying to get that nice cheesy crust. See, I, I like it a bit crispy like that. So, that took four minutes. It did not take long. Remember, that was tasty cheese. So tasty cheese will melt very quickly, just if you ever work with it. If you like it a bit stringier or a bit lighter, you use mozzarella. Mozza. But yeah, so this is very hot. I'm gonna let that cool down and then I'll serve it up. But yeah, that's a crack. You know, the, I want it a little bit cracky, crackly, a little bit more crispy. I like it that way. That, that way it's got a nice cheese crust to it, but still a bit cheesy and stringy in the middle. Alrighty, so I already started cutting it. Just to show you guys. So, yeah, it's still very cheesy. Got that nice crust on there. Let's see if I can uh, get this in one piece because it's a bit, still a bit. Uh, yeah, good. We got it in almost one piece. Awesome. And then you guys can see here, it's, it's nicely cooked, cooked through. So again, warning: when it is frozen or a cold one, you got to make sure it's cooked through. It's not just uh, getting watery and defrosted. So you might have to leave it a bit longer. Like I said, covered in foil. All right, so we got a little bit of a close-up. We got a little bit of that pasta, a little bit of the sauce, just to get started. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. The pasta is nice and soft. Plenty of flavor from the sauce and the meat. Got a little bit of cheese in this one. Mmm. Mmm. So we've got a nice big cheesy uh, fork here. Mm. Mm. The tasty cheese, the flavor's coming through. It's still got that nice chew to it. And I like that little bit of a crust. You know? Mm. Plenty of flavor. A little bit greasy, you know, got that chewiness to it. And, mm. Success. Awesome guys, well I hope you enjoy that, just a bit of home cooking fun, don't be afraid to give it a try, might impress your girlfriend or a special someone, or a bachelor like me, at least uh, eat well, save you a bit of money, as well, eat healthier, now of course guys, um, don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe, check out my Facebook page, the Beer Benches Facebook page, if you want to see the previous video, click here, and if you want to see the next video, click here. As always, thanks for watching and be adventures out.